We have a scam alert to warn you about tonight. Prospective home renters are getting sucked into putting money down on a home from an owner that does not exist. Mike Linden is talking to a Lexington homeowner who caught on to the scam. Mike explains how this all works. It's a story that's new at 5:30. This three-bedroom, one-bath house on Zandale Drive in Lexington has gotten a lot of looks from those who want to move in. Meredith Lane is the owner. Yesterday, I started getting a flood of phone calls from people that wanted to rent it. But those eyeballing it have done so not in person, but on Craigslist. A scammer had put this on Craigslist yesterday morning, um, advertising it for rent for $600. They advertised an open house at the property. But when Lane didn't show up Monday to show the house, potential renters called her cell phone number wondering what happened. But it says it's for rent for 600 a month. I just wanted to verify that this is correct. I talked to numerous people, at least 30 people called me or texted me yesterday. Lane believes a guy named Michael Jacinto out of Texas is ripping people off by swiping information from house listings. His name is listed on the agreement form. He wants $600 in rent up front and $600 for a deposit sent to this supposed router number. You as the potential renter, you send your deposit and you send first month's rent and then he'll FedEx you the keys the next day. Well, what happens is the person sends their money, they never get the keys, they never get to move in and then they've been scammed out of $1,200. Lane says she put a lot of time and money into flipping this 1,800 square foot home. 600 a month for this place is too good to be true. You might want to double that. Try 12 to 1,300 a month. You know, in a lot of cases, this is all the money that they have to to get into that next home, and then it's gone, and they have no place to live and nothing to show for it. In Lexington, Mike Linden, WKYT. Now, Lane says she doesn't know how many people fell for the scam. We tried to call the seller from Craigslist, but no one answered. The Lexington Bluegrass Association of Realtors has some tips for you when looking for that next home. Work with an LBAR member. Do not wire any money. Google the property address and the leasing agent. Basically, do your research, and if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is.